Hi, I'm Catherine with the Old Country Porch, and today I'm gonna to be sharing with you a brand new recipe for making bubble scoops. This recipe is similar to the recipe that I already have, but with one key difference. Instead of using SLS, which is an ingredient that's hard to find unless you're buying it in bulk, this recipe uses cocomidopropyl betaine, which is much easier to find in smaller amounts. And you can find all of the ingredients for this recipe on Amazon, and I will link everything in the description below. There are also less ingredients in this recipe, so if you're new to making bubble scoops, this is a good recipe to start off with. So you will need some mixing bowls, a mixing spoon, and a digital scale. And the first ingredient is 10 ounces of baking soda. If your baking soda is clumpy, you can sift that before you add that in. The next ingredient is two ounces of cream of tartar. Next is one and a half ounces of tapioca starch. I did try this recipe using cornstarch instead of tapioca starch and it did not work as well. So definitely go with tapioca starch for this one. The next ingredient is 2.5 ounces of cocoa betaine. And then you need 1.25 ounces of castor oil. Then you'll need 0.2 ounces of your fragrance oil. And the last ingredient is two ounces of SLSA. And I always put that one in last because you'll need to wear a mask when you're using this product. It's really light and gets airborne easily and you don't want that in your lungs. So I add that in, I mix it up. As soon as it's mixed up, then you don't need your mask anymore. So now everything's mixed up and the bubble scoop that I'm making today is going to have three colors. So I'm going to divide this into three parts and add my coloring. So for this one I'm using a mica as the coloring, but you can use liquid soap coloring too. So now my colors are all mixed up and I want my bubble scoop to have kind of a marble effect. So to do that, I just take little bits and kind of sprinkle them around of each color. And I keep doing that until all of the colors are in one bowl. Now this recipe creates just as many bubbles as my other recipe, if not more. As far as substitutes go, I cannot recommend any substitutes for any of the ingredients because changing anything will change the texture of the bubble scoop. I'm gonna take a piece of freezer paper and my ice cream scoop. So when you go to release it, you want to press it against the paper and add some pressure to it as you release it. And that will help it look more like an ice cream scoop.
so there's not enough left for the last scoop so I'm just gonna make a little square and I'll use this one myself so you're gonna want to let these dry for at least 12 hours and if you're packaging them then they should dry at least 24 hours if you're in a humid climate it will take longer for them to dry so for packaging I like to use these little 4x6 heat seal bags and they fit perfectly in there and they look very professional once you have them packaged. And if you try out this recipe, I would love to know how it worked out for you. If you like this video and want to see more like it, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.